number one. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the podcast. We're bringing you guys another Dark Before Dark episode. Um, it's me, the Gamer Nerd Wizards, along with the rapper Mumbles. And we are here with week four. Coda, we have survived four weeks on the internet without getting canceled. Not proud One of us. full month. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> A full month. Well, actually, the third video hasn't even dropped yet because we, you know, we early and stuff. But, you know, we're, we're getting in our heads, we're like week four. <laughs> Don't um, worry, we won't the next video will be great. At the time of this recording. But, yeah. okay, we are here week four, and it is the rapper Mumbles and the Gamer Nerd Wizards. But we are accompanied oh today. Go to so wow, Jesse. We Shut are up. accompanied today by my wonderful girlfriend, Mrs. Aww. Wizards. <laughs> Stop. Or she likes to call herself, and it's on her birth certificate. Her name's Cassie. <laughs> Welcome, Cassie, to the podcast. K. With a K. Okay. With a K. Yeah, with a K. Our first ever guest. There. Our oh. first ever guest. That is a such an honor. It's a huge honor. I yeah, wish I could. for sure. For sure. What did you say, Jesse? Like, I'm sure you're excited that like you get this opportunity to be on the Mumbles and Wizards podcast. So, like, I'm kind of terrified. Don't I'm worry. Terrified, we don't have actually. we don't have any clout. <laughs> Go me, take a gonna... smoke break. Our 26 <laughs> subscribers will not talk too much. Hey, it's smack 29 on you. now. Hopefully, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was at thirty, but yeah, I don't know it what wasn't. happened. But um, yeah. by the yeah, time yeah, our third yeah. video releases and this one comes out, we better be at twenty nine thousand. Like I was shooting. No, it was otherwise. It was a uh, twenty three thousand because that's what we were at. Twenty three thousand. Yeah, we don't want to make it Dota, too we're out of seventy one <laughs> subscribers <laughs> that's away. That's just ridiculous. I know from the only man's. <laughs> so only exciting. Man. Ten out of ten. But yeah, Cassie, you've been on the that. you've been on the streams, and I feel like yeah. that's a lot more nerve wracking because you can't take any of that back. Well, that's true, but I, <laughs> yeah, I'm that's completely focusing... live. You say something stupid, you're done. Well, like, I'm like RIP. focusing on the game, you know. Like I don't like even don't do that. Like most of the time, I don't remember that you're streaming, and then yeah. I like catch myself saying something like awful, and I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. Yeah, yeah. trust me, Sam is the reason I get muted on his stream. Yeah, he's gotten yeah. better. We're all working on our filters. I've been streaming for about a year now, and so it's it's a little easy. But really, been that long. Uh, streaming yeah, wise, yeah, because I started. You've January done it like last every year. day too. Yeah, I started yeah. January of last year. We didn't stream yesterday. I wanted to take a break because yesterday oh, man, I was so it. tired. Yesterday yeah. I was depressed. So. It was a super well, yeah. fun day yesterday. So if you guys are here from. Dakota's fan base or whatever, then you've probably seen Mrs. Wizards. My people, you may not know her yet, but you will soon. Wow. Mrs. Wizards, wink, aka wink. Cassidy Strumbat, <laughs> will be appearing on my album, Welcome. And yes. Cassidy. I'm, I'm actually really excited about it. And when he asked me Don't if you I lie. wanted to be... Hey, no, when you asked me you... if I wanted to be on the song, I said, if it's total dog shit, my voice will not be on that song because that's stupid. But and then that. he played it to me, and I was like, "Wow, okay." I'm like genuinely surprised. This is really good. Like I, so, I, I guess I can be on that. Like you deserve my. Uh, yeah, you expertise. deserve my presence. So you're welcome. But, <laughs> conversation start is a lot different than how you're portraying it. You were like, "Look, I know you've been trying to sing for a long time. I can actually sing. Please put me on this song and don't mess it up because it's good for once." <laughs> <laughs> like if it were yeah. Jungle Boy Part Two, you just let it crash and burn. I get it. Oh God. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a no go for Great me. Times. But that's my only up. song that I tell people Sorry. not to stream. <laughs> yeah, just don't listen to that one. Forget it's a delete thing. Delete it. Like, can you just yeah? Like, my friends will. The internet I really need to take it off everything. Like, yeah, there's actually some do. people like Vasa's wife loves that song for no oh. reason. Oh why? Yeah, oh, she's like, it's my favorite song okay? of yours. I'm like, why? Like, that you know, I have insane. like other music. Right? Like, you don't <laughs> have to keep being supportive of that one song. It's like, please move on. But yeah, like people at work, oh, like they'll shit. turn on my music and everything like, yo, you're pretty dope. I'm like, thank you, man. They're going through my catalog. And they're getting to like King speech and smile. Don't go anymore. Then... Stop. Stop. You're like, I'm going to stop you right yeah. now. Yeah. I'm like, hey, like, Uno reverse. you can stop. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, let's just pretend that that didn't happen. So I'm telling you, you should just delete it. Yeah. Great times. Let's, let's not. But if you haven't hey. seen Jungle Boy, save yourself and don't. Yeah. It. Don't do it. But. I'm recovering, and now we got a super fire song going to come in, be recovering. coming out on the album to be announced, <laughs> oh um, titled "Welcome." And Cassidy Trembeth will be on that. She's not. Don't worry, no. she's not getting paid for it. But are you gonna? You want to tell the podcast what the song's called? 
I think you've said it somewhere else. Yeah, I think you said it I on th- Snapchat uh, and Instagram. Well, it'll be Mumbles Scared to Love featuring Cassidy Trembath, and it's all about yes. love because, you know, as said in the saw previous our last episode, episode. Great. how lucky yeah. we are in the Both women's department. Fantastic for us. <laughs> exactly. We didn't even talk. So... I watched back and I was like, we didn't even talk about everything. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you guys haven't seen We the had to last be time time-ish. restricted. Well, and on the album cover, um, you probably won't recognize my name because it's going to be Lil Fish. So, <laughs> Lil Fish. Because that's my Lil rapper Fish. name. So when she starts listen. rapping, I I only want her to sing on this one because when she starts rapping, I'm done. Like I have to quit music and I'm not excited yet. Come I love rapping. <laughs> I love like watching people's reaction when I start rapping because they're like, "What the fuck? Where did that come from?" But it's like my favorite thing. Okay, it's it. really entertaining for me actually to listen to you rap like when we're all in the car and stuff because like you have a really pretty voice. Yeah, you're singing really pretty to like songs that aren't really pretty. <laughs> yeah, like you're like kill shot. <laughs> your beard is weird and i'm like this is awkward i don't know, I don't know how to feel about this <laughs> do that that's fake news i'm gonna go on my that's separate a compliment account and also you, like Jesse. you know you said what so i'm gonna use one of my private youtube accounts and cancel you <laughs> love it <laughs> we're, we're already on the way there anyways so well you know. this I'm is just like a countdown it's just a countdown. It's just yeah. Countdown. Yeah. A one hundred. That's a who. Four episodes. That's how many it took. Four episodes. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys know, me and Mumbles are currently in Nebraska, which is getting fucked by the weather. Yeah. Um. Actually, I saw today that oh, it was just. The... I hate how hot it's been, dude. Yeah, I'm sweating my ass off. Fuck. <laughs> Omaha, Nebraska, was the coldest city in the nation today. At negative to 40 degrees with the wind chill. Love to see it. It's a lot. Putting numbers up on the board. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Nebraska's only famous for like mass murderers and, and their corn. weather. And corn. Hey, yeah, corn. Even though I was a fantastic more corn football team, as currently stated. You notice how neither of us are wearing red? I mean, you can't see us, but. Yeah. I'm not wearing red either, so. No, oh, well, there you go. There's we a love the Huskers. <laughs> we love the Huskers. Represented Oklahoma. Yeah. I remember, like, the first time I was here, we drove by Cornhusker Road, and I was like, this is where I die. <laughs> We're going to die on Cornhusker that's Road, a, and I'm never going to be able like, to forget myself. One of the myself. nicest places in Omaha. <laughs> What's messed oh, up God. is that's, like, where I live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't uh, stalk him for those Yeah, I do not live out there that... Cornhusker. Yeah, no, Jesse's address is actually... It. No, I'm just kidding. It is, is actually not the first way, left way, after... way west. <laughs> yeah, Jesse actually knows a <laughs> Ogallala. Yeah, because everybody's. From I don't Ogallala. know where that actually everybody. is. If you live in Ogallala, you don't live in Ogallala. You don't have a Wi Fi. But you if I were to live in Ogallala. <laughs> you don't have a single Wi Fi. Yeah, no Wi Fi. No Wi Fi. But yeah, no back Wi-Fi to the free. point I was trying to get to. <laughs> Cassie is not from Sorry. Nebraska. No. We will get into how we met and how Jesse and her met later. Well, in a couple minutes. But she is from. I'm from Colorado. Colorado. So, stop. <laughs> Did I say it weird? No, you didn't. Oh, okay. I just like saying yeah. it weird. Oh, okay. You know them Colorados um, with them accents? Colorado. Somebody told Colorado. me I accent. I was like, no, no, you don't. I think it's like a Midwest thing. I'm just... I just think we have like the default accent that everyone else is weird. Right? <laughs> but yeah, I'm from... I'm like in between two small towns in uh, Colorado. I live like an hour north of Denver. And I live on a pretty big farm. Yeah, the it's a few little acres. bit in the middle of nowhere. I actually oh, yeah. thought we were gonna die when me and Jesse went over to their house. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. It's in the I middle was gonna of nowhere, die, but, like but I thought around. there was gonna be death. Sorry, I didn't think I didn't think we were gonna die, but I thought there was gonna be death when we slept there and we heard that freaking rooster. <laughs> I told you, <laughs> and the kind of the most violent. Okay, yeah, Jesse, we were laying his there. Name we were was like, literally Nugget. Did you hear that? Like uh, we were the so rooster's name is scared. Nugget. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, it's, it's that's like really messed up. It is. Oh my god! Can we also talk about <laughs> how stupid he looks? Yeah, he, he kind like, of does. Feathers, like, he kind of does, does look a little silly. He looks really stupid. Sorry to any of those. Wait, who looks stupid? Oh, never mind. I can't, I can't no, say that. yeah, probably don't say whatever you're gonna say. <laughs> um, yeah, but we have. Who looks stupid? The rooster. My chicken. Yeah. The chicken rooster. Oh, oh, gotcha. The I, I immediately, rooster. because I'm so insecure, thought you guys were talking about me for a second. I no, you like, fixed wait, your wait, hair. What did I do? Yeah, you fixed your hair after you fucking cut it weird. I actually lack thereof, so and then died of blonde. Manager and what? everything. No, I, I think <laughs> that I need to like revamp my look and do the whole 
slick back thing because that's never been done before. Oh, slick back. No, no, I have I have the best idea ever. Just hear me out, okay? Take it into I consideration. Don't hear this. Reverse uh, mohawk. All right. A skunk. That's what it's called. <laughs> I will pay you. Comment down below so if you want Mumbles to have a skunk. You better. That would be fucking amazing. I mean, amazing. you'd be you'd be very uh you'd be a very unique rapper. <laughs> I mean, you I still wouldn't look as scary as Tom McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. No, there's definitely some scary looking uh music producers and makers out there. Yeah. I'm not in the music world, so I don't know if a music producer was the right word, but um producers <laughs> out there that are questionable. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see characters. All right, All so right. let's Colorado, let's get what's into the, light? the yeah. Um. Well, I lived in Colorado my whole life, so. Same sorry. house, right? Yeah, the same exact house. Um. So. Me, me. I don't know. I've gone to like the same school my whole life until I graduated, obviously, and then I don't know. Like everything's just been really consistent, but I really like our mountains. I know that's like the typical Colorado person, but. We I don't have know. like the same thing. No. We, we have like maybe one. They're just. Hill. They're just flatter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With no points. Well, I just like how like beautiful they are and how peaceful they are. I swear, and every time I go to Colorado, it's like the prettiest place ever. It like, it has really nice views. Oh, like yeah. It's Unless really you're like nice. on the coast, like it's like the best place to take pictures non-coastal. Yeah, we have really pretty sunsets. So when I was younger, like when I got my first phone, I would like take a picture of the sunset every night, and then I was like, okay, I have to stop taking pictures because it just, just like looks like this every, time. every single night. So. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I really liked it. I like the weather. It's not terribly awful. It's bipolar, for sure. Yeah, I feel like Colorado weather's kind of like the here, except yeah. without tornadoes. Do you guys have tornadoes? Not often. Mm -mm. Yeah, and then you guys just have the mountains oh, yeah, we, to worry about, we love included yeah. with the snow. Yeah, well, we just have, like, a really good middle ground. Like, it gets pretty hot, but not, like, so hot that you yeah, can cook eggs on the ground. Yeah. But, like, it doesn't get super, super cold. So I I like that. I like that we have all four seasons. Yes. So. Yeah. Like like yeah, I was saying, yeah. like, coastal cities, they're gorgeous, but I would never want to live there. There's just, like, too much, too much stuff there for me. Yeah. Like, you have to worry about the people there aren't the best, yeah, no matter which place you're in, apparently. Nice. But, <laughs> We're in from um, Omaha. We don't exactly have the world's we, we best class. We don't citizen. have the best people, but yeah. we don't have to worry about our houses getting flooded every year. Other than like a couple years ago, that did happen. Yeah, like, 2013, we got oh, yeah. fucked. Okay, I'll, like, I'll take a tornado. It was bad. A hurricane that that, it was that worries really bad. me. <laughs> yeah, we were at a school yeah. for like a week. Cause and also like my house is at the bottom of two hills, so we got like so flooded and our roof caved in like while we were in the house. And we were like, oh, Ray. that's super fun. Love to see it. All right, so you were talking about school. Yeah. What did you do after high school? Okay, so I did college classes while I was still in high school. Just got some, like, prereqs out of the way. Um, so I, when I graduated, I was already done with, like, my second year of college, which is kind of cool. Um, and kind then... Do. It's whatever. It's like, I just have, like, siblings who didn't graduate high school, but it's whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then as soon as Little I was Little fish diss track coming soon! <laughs> <laughs> I Facts. love that. 10 out of 10. I have a lot of people like, yeah. Anyways, um, so I graduated and then my first full semester after high school, I was in the EMT program, um, which was literally the hardest thing I've ever done in my whole life. It was so fucking hard. Um, but it was super cool because I was the youngest person in my class and uh, we started out with 30 students and graduated with 11. So that's kind of So that cool. class sounds super easy. Oh my god, it kicked my ass so hard. Like you can you can attest to that. Yeah, no, it, like I cried yeah. every single day. It was it was really hard. Capture sensitive. Did we fuck off. did we date through that whole class? Yeah. Yeah. Because we so, started dating August eighth. Yeah. So, so I, I was there started. the whole time. Yeah, you were there the whole time. It was awful. She had such a wonderful time. I mean it was fun. I, I thought it was cool that I had a squad. Like I thought that was super cool and I hung out with them all the time. Um, and it was really hard to see squad mates get kicked from the program, but, you know, I learned a lot and I would definitely recommend doing it if you're, I would recommend it if you're interested in emergency medical services, because the only benefits of being an EMT is like, you get to do what you love because you don't get paid enough. You get treated like shit by patients. Like it's, it's a hard job, but if you are really passionate about EMS, that's when it would be worth it. So like, yeah, that's patients. why I think it's worth it. Because 
I I love trauma. I don't know. I loved being on the ambulance. It was my favorite. <laughs> you, that's why you're on the podcast. Yeah. That's all that we're about is trauma. <laughs> well, that yeah. trauma too. We don't really like trauma. That's our whole thing. <laughs> I saw this thing on but Facebook. But we embrace like, it. I saw this thing on Facebook on one of my EMT groups and it was like, I don't want you to get hurt, but I just want to be there when you do get hurt. And I was like, I relate to that so hard. Yeah. I I have always loved, like, first aid. I was the uh, manager for our football team in high school for two years, and, like, all I did was first aid. So I helped with, like, nosebleeds, turf burns, like, all that kind all of the, stuff. All the goodies. Um, I've had my CPR and first aid certification since I was, like, 16. I volunteered at a hospital for two years and then worked at it for six months. What what um, age did you get your CNA? Oh, uh, 17. I forgot that I was a CNA. Yeah, so, I was a so CNA. So you didn't wait until you were, like, 20 or 21 to get it? No. Oh, okay. I know yeah, some at the ripe age of 18, I was like that I've been meme a CNA of don't flex. A <laughs> a flex without actually flexing. No, I <laughs> oh, yeah. forgot. I'm a CNA too. Uh, no, whatever. I, I forget I forgot. I, you know, All these when accomplishments I first... and making my parents proud. And... No, when I first got my CNA, I absolutely loved it. I loved being with patients. I loved... Wiping ass? But no. No, I didn't. <laughs> but I loved being that person that was there to hold their hand, like if they didn't have family members or... Um, I don't know. It's just like a really intimate kind of care because yeah. they have to trust you a lot. Like if I'm going to give somebody a bath or a shower, like they really have to trust me because, you know, that's like really personal. Um, and so I loved it at first. And then I was just like, I got to do more. CNAs can't do shit. Like I want to be able to do cool stuff and like be on the front lines and like help people really help you... save lives. It yeah. So like, you're... yeah. That's but, when I decided. What did you say, Jesse? I said, I want to see blood. So, if you guys are in the Colorado know. area and, like, want to chop a finger off or something, Hit me up, <laughs> honestly, honestly. Probably the coolest thing I've ever seen, though, was I got to see a C-section when I was, like, 16 years old. Yeah, and cool. it was so cool. Like, I got to go in the OR. Like, I was that's literally awesome. right in front of the patient. And um, I'd never seen anything like it. So, all the nurses were worried that I was going to, like, throw up or, like, faint. And they actually had to, like, keep asking me to move back because I was inching too close to the patient. Because I just, Taking like, wanted to see what's going on. I was like, Gosh. this is so fucking cool. I just watched a human pull a human out of another human. Like, it was Tech so fresh. weird. <laughs> it was so weird. But I I really enjoyed it. Like, that was almost three years ago, and I still remember the baby's name. Like, it was, like, super cool. That's when I learned name? that I had what's the What's the social for the baby? I can't, actually can't yeah. give you their name, because that violates HIPAA. What's the baby's address? Online. Do you think HIPAA so, listens to our podcast? We don't even listen to our podcast. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know anything about So you were talking about Antonio's anything. birth. Keep going. Oh my god. His name wasn't Antonio disclaimer. And but... it wasn't never mind. Yeah, but I don't know I don't know about Jesse, but um I have a weak stomach, so I will not be becoming an EMT anytime soon. Okay. I literally I have a I strong took... stomach. I can deal with a lot, but literally the only thing that makes me want to throw up all the time is blood. I don't do blood. Yeah, mine's like I'm so throw up blood. and then like bones like if i see your bone come out of uh, your arm if i like, see no. bone come out of your arm i'm gonna flip shit yeah, that remember, would be so cool that yeah, would be so cool cutter cool getting excited by albums game. and like like people no. leveling up and she's <laughs> losing it like oh, oh my gosh yeah. broke his arm. No, literally when i was the just, bone shattered everywhere <laughs> when i was just first aid certified i was at a softball game and um i made friends with like the field supervisor because i was like if you need somebody who's first aid certified like i am and i'm a nerd so i want to help and she walks this guy over to me and was like, hey, uh, will you check out this guy's elbow? It, it looks a little bad. And I'm like, sure, whatever. Oh, she, she comes over with him. He, like, lifts up his skin flap. And I could see his muscles and a ligament. It was so cool. I was like, bro, you need to go to the hospital. And he's like, you really think so? And I'm like, bitch, I can see the inside of your arm. No, I think you just put a band over like, it. Like, what? It's going to get infected. Or some like, outside that bitch and keep playing. Yeah, but I've always been the person, like, I hold girls' hair back, like, hair back when they throw up. Like, that doesn't bother me at all. And I don't know. I It really doesn't bother me. I took a stop the bleed class while I was eating lunch. Yeah, no. Like, I literally, I just, nope. it doesn't bother me at all. Or coming to the I conclusion like, that Cassidy's a psycho. No, yeah. it's just, like, both of my parents have weak stomachs, so I don't know why I can tolerate it so well, but I just find it fascinating, so it doesn't freak me out. Well, if you're bleeding out, we might not want to call you, because I feel like you'd look at it and, like, no. stare. No, like, I'd be like, all right, we're doing this, this, and long. this. No. <laughs> I'd look at the Gushing, blood Gushing, this afterwards. is sick. I would I've never seen so much blood. Like, That's a wall of blood. 
All it's right. a lot of blood. So we've talked about you. We don't know how you got here or anything to do with that. So... We talked about the future. Let's talk about origins. <laughs> Yeah, so Jesse so, and her were friends first. Let's explain how that <laughs> went. It. Here, Jesse, first you, off, you start. Yeah. Let's give a round of applause to Cassidy because we've been friends, what, like six years? Yeah, almost. Longer than should be, okay? Let's just say yeah, that. A long time. That with me all that time. And look, we're still here. Now she's on the podcast and my album. So, like, kudos. And, you don't only have a strong stomach, but you have a high tolerance, period. <laughs> <laughs> through all the <laughs> dumpery <laughs> <laughs> i like to call it fuckery but continue well mine was blurred anyway so i said the same thing yeah. <laughs> so i said the same thing um, all right so Cassidy, said we met what like <laughs> six years ago <laughs> you heard yeah. it here folks secondhandly he said he said a naughty Wait, word. am i cussing if she like fills in for me can like oh, please I edit over and I do all the cusses? Piss. No, you said you could Shit. piss. I have to take a... Shit. Bitch. That was, that was a little One slow, more. but... <laughs> One more. I have to One take more. a bitch. Ah, holy... Shit. <laughs> was that good? I heard, I heard his mouth start to form the F. Still <laughs> slightly delayed. Still slightly delayed. Sorry, right, we'll, 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 we'll work on it. Maybe it's your fault. I don't know. All right, we're a little, Anyways. We're a little hey, off track. Continue right, anyways. on, Jesse. So we've known each other a long time. Uh, Cassidy, how how did how did we meet? Beginning. I'm trying to consider your audience. Uh, we uh, met. On okay, a... then I'll start it. Hold up. So <laughs> back when I was in high school, you know, fresh out of puberty, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna continue on with this thing, and I just killed it on Kids Bop. <laughs> Let's move it to the big stage. I need to touch the stage. So, Nebraska Christian now. College, if you're not familiar, you're not going to be familiar because it's gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel so... Um, okay, if anybody from that, NCC is watching this, I'm so sorry that it closed. I'm sure that was devastating. It actually closed? made yeah. me sad. It went bankrupt. It made gone. me really sad, too. I mean, I know it was in the middle of nowhere, and nobody went there anyways by choice, so... Well, uh, actually, that's... <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. That I was know like the most, that was the most there. expensive school I've ever heard of. Yeah, it was really expensive. And I wanted really to expensive. go to MIT. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well. But, but yeah, I so I decided, like, you know what? I'm going to keep singing. I'm going to be on the big stage. In Nebraska Christian College, they were having this thing. I don't remember who told me about it, um, but I was Probably like, yeah, another big break. Like, after I killed it on <laughs> Kids Bop, this is where this is my good part, too. Um. So I signed up and was like, I'm going to be a singer. So obviously they were accepting everybody. <laughs> um, but I got on, obviously, because you know I'm me. You know what I'm Shut up. Uh, <laughs> welcome coming soon. But, <laughs> welcome coming soon. Hashtag no free plugs. That cost you $20, Jesse. <laughs> but yeah, so I joined that and Cassie also was a part of it. I don't remember how we started like actually talking. Oh, no, 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 I do. Uh, do you want to fill that part in, Miss Breakdown? Shut the fuck up. Okay, first of all, I was actually too young to do New Ways, um, but somebody who's way too there, young. Shut up. Cassie's fourteen actively. Fuck off. No, so you somebody who. For, you see, oh my god. I'm see my face. Shut up, Jesse. She's eighteen. I promise. I'm eighteen. Swear my life. I 19. won't show you my license because I feel like that's a bad idea. But it's no, I want to see full ID. I can show you my ID. Learn anything, and I'm assume it's fake. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Anyways, so um, somebody that I went to church with was, uh, he used to work at Nebraska Christian and told me about this program because he heard me sing and he was like, oh, you're not like awful. Um, so then I, I, mediocre. I applied and just like Jesse said, everybody gets in. So I got in. And, everybody, um, obviously. And um, the director of the program pulled me aside was like, actually, you're not supposed to be here. We take outgoing freshmen, not incoming freshmen. Um, but if you want to stay, you can. And I uh, definitely didn't want to stay, but I did. Um, and one night I was just like having like a lot of anxiety and just like didn't want to do it anymore. And Jesse like sat next to me and was like, you good, bro? And I was like, uh, Yeah. I guess. Just try to walk into the show because I was like, ah, oh, I'm a rock star. And I was just, you know, vasting in my glory. And I was like, dude, who is crying right now that's going to show up on the mics? 
And I was like, yo, shut you the fuck up. That's not like, true at all. Let me tell you about my life. And I was like, oh, f I didn't even mm, hear an asshole. I'm totally kidding. No, that's how we first met. Is like, I was like, hey, you're sad. I like helping sad people. What's wrong? Because I'm sad. Because <laughs> I'm Cause, sad. You know, I, yeah, because I'm also depressed. We could be friends. And yeah, we hit it off. Uh, we and then we made like a like, trio. Yeah, we, we talked a long time. Person. Yeah. Yeah, we're We can say his name. He's not an ex. Um, Mark, <laughs> uh, if you're watching this, Mark, I miss you, buddy. Please come yeah, home. Yeah, we both miss you. Not roommate, Mark. Um, not roommate. And, no, not Jesse, roommate, Mark. If you come out in March, we should try to hang out with him. Big facts. Because he's in Longmont. Um, but yeah, so we were like, we all got along because we were like, hey, you're messed up and got a bunch of problems. I'm messed up and have a bunch of problems. Let's all hang out and be buddies. And we all think that like we're musically inclined, so you know, let's keep faking it together. Until <laughs> <laughs> so, you make it. Yeah, exactly. So we saw actually, made it, but that's with, besides the point. With that fun fact, I was there when Jesse prefer performed on stage for the first time. I was. You were actively there. Um, I was during the beginning of like, yeah, your career, yeah, I'm gonna like, do this forever. Yeah. So. Yeah, because the second year of New Ways was they were like oh we need a rap part because the first i was just like part of the choir thing whatever and saying but they were like yeah, we need a rap part and i was like wait you need a rap part and i was like john i can rap and he was like can you and i was like yeah and he was like all right show me so and so i you know the little thingy thing and he was Shut like up. yeah you're gonna do this cassidy do you remember um when i first like it was announced who the solos were and they were like oh yeah uh jesse will be rapping da, da, da. and everyone was like wait jesse raps <laughs> no that, um, that was my favorite thing like when we would go to like churches that were more like i don't know how, i don't know how you'd say that like there was just, like a lot of old people no like you would you know that they like sing hymns and then jesse just starts yeah. rapping i almost piss myself every time because the look on their faces like oh my gosh priceless. he's doing that devil the talk. devil rap <laughs> in our church and were, but but then you could they see, were like oh, yeah the teenagers that was like, pretty quickly and, but then the teenagers would get, like, so excited. It was just so cool to see, like, how the, like, the different audiences, like, took it. I don't know. I just thought that was really fun. And then that was the same year the I had first my time. first solo. Yeah, you you sung your own song, too. You overcame um, fear and anxiety and did your little so thing. So much anxiety. But, yeah, you saw the birth of Mumbles touching a stage. Did it, and, like, I was jumping off stages and everything else yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, you, you got really into it, for sure. Yeah, like, and, like, that's... everyone loved it. And I was like, I'm good at this. Like, I should keep doing this. I'm not trying to be that's... cocky, but, like, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll do my thing on stage. Come see me in April. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's, um... like, the one thing I've always ad admired about you as an artist is, like, your stage presence. Because, like, you know, I listen to your music on, like, Apple Music in my car. But it's just, like, so yeah. different when I see you actually performing. Just because, like, the yeah. vibes. I don't know. I was, it's hard to explain, but... No. You that's something that I pride myself ways. on, too. Yeah. It's like artists, like, when I... Especially in rap music, like, a lot of artists are just like, Yo, man, I'm gonna say the ad-libs for this song, and y'all are gonna jump. And that's so <laughs> lame. Like, I'm spending 250 bucks for a what? Yeah. Uh, well, look at you, yeah, Dallow. I just feel like you're you're a good entertainer as well. So That's what I try to be, as that's a good entertainer. With Props to you. Thanks. Only, you know what? That was a genuine nice... compliment, Cassidy. Yes, the only nice thing I think I've ever said to Jesse. So you guys hear it. Probably heard it ever, yeah. You guys heard it here first. She's going to have <laughs> us demand it. Just clip it out. Yeah, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I can't take it out, take it out, take it out. Take it out. <laughs> Jesse's total dog <laughs> shit. Nobody likes him. Uh... Bars. I keep drowning. I keep drowning. <laughs> I, 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 I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drowned. Take it out. So, yeah, we became friends through that um because yeah i was rapping and everything and she saw the beginning of that and then like even afterwards like we just always stayed in touch and kept yeah, talking even though we lived in different states we were still friends which was fun yeah because um because now, we did it okay, for two going. years in a row and then jesse fucking yeah. abandoned me in the third year and then i didn't go again correct i was like a, i was being a mama bird and was throwing her to the wild to see if she could fly or not yeah you're an asshole i literally had like no friends i was correct. so bored i was like why am i here i was like us at i was homeschooled like who do you think year? you're talking to about not having yeah. friends and being awkward yeah. yeah so you shouldn't have left me behind asshole you know what it's I like know. <laughs> i know I'm this sorry sounds, this sounds really shitty but i feel like the reason that like we like bonded so easily is like everybody at that church camp was like super like churchy i know that sounds terrible but we were like, so like 
Yeah, they had we their were clique. just like mellow. Yeah, for sure. They're we like, was the outsiders. I don't care. What we were the weird says. kids. There was definitely a clique. A lot of them. And you know what's funny? And I'm not trying to flex again, but I just want to point this out. I'm pretty sure out of all of those people who were like super stuck up and everything, I'm the only one that still does music. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I don't see that being false. I wish I could Set do it music, here first. But... Yeah, because I went to one of the concerts hey. and. Uh... It was uh, technically Cassidy. You are doing music. You are gonna be on an album. One song does not count. Hey, one song is better than no songs. I guess that's true. I think that's more songs than like Lil Yachty's got. At least that you know. (laughs) (laughs) At least that you know. I'm sending shots. I love Lil. I love Lil Boat. Get out of here. (laughs) I do too. Lil Yachty's so happy. Everyone loves Lil Yachty. He's in phase. The fuck. (laughs) Okay, but we gotta get to the fun part of the story now. Okay, so now the stories start to blend. Now we're getting to like, <laughs> oh, so how did wizards meet, Cassidy? So, okay, wait, I want to <laughs> tell this part. <laughs> can I tell it? You can tell it first, and, and then tell my version. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> we've been friends for a long time. I was a teenage boy. In the last episode, I told you guys I had a little bit of a problem, you know, talking to <laughs> every female that came across me. <laughs> Anything that um, worked. <laughs> so I don't take that I as a compliment, like, by the way. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, but yeah, I was Fuck like, you. yo, like, you're cool and understand me and everything. And, you know, you, you're kind of cute, whatever. What up? Um, <laughs> that was your so, first like, mistake, there bro. was a there was a brief little moment where, you know, uh, I was I was trying to flirt with Miss Wizards. Um, I don't like that sentence. I don't Pre like Miss Wizards. Sentence. Before we didn't get Back yeah. before the last The whole fish days and the Miss Wizards days, she didn't have any clout. I was like, hey, Fuck you're you. nobody. What's up? Fuck you. Oh my gosh. Um, I had clout so, at Dakota, my high school, kind of. We we didn't talk. Me and you didn't talk for a while, Cassidy. And then. No, it was a few um, years for sure. And then he that saw that long, I was single. Like, we just kind of stayed in. <laughs> yeah, I saw you were single, and I was like, I Snapchatted you. I was like, hey, how you doing? Well, you dumped that I was like, we're going on a trip. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, you heard god. it here first <laughs> oh um, my god all right is it my turn imagine having that, that cow no, no no hold up imagine having that cowboy and then now you have a stud like mr wizards oh my god like, i know like, uh, <laughs> fucking uh, my man is oh. fine as fuck exactly like honestly <laughs> if, you know <laughs> i swear to god um we were but uh animals. yeah so we were going on a big trip <laughs> and we were gonna swing through because i was like hey guys let's you know Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. You can't move on to that part yet. No, no. So this is what really happens, okay? This Uh, is the truth. I swear on my life, on my EMT license, I swear that this is the truth. Drops dead immediately. Fuck (laughs) off. No, this is exactly what happened. I have alibis, Jesse. Anyways, so (laughs) he hits me up on Snapchat, right? Because I'm single after four years and is talking to me. And I'm like, I haven't talked to you in a while. Okay, like, this is fine we're we've been friends for a while and then uh i posted a yolo uh jesse's yolo and uh jesse responded i've had a crush on you for a long time but we live in different states <laughs> and i uh i look back for a second to think oh who the fuck could that have been crazy i have no idea who this is and um yeah then he was like um so i'm coming up to colorado <laughs> he said that was me <laughs> I was like, uh, "Yeah." Oh, you are? He was like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "Oh." Trying to hang out. You... I was like, uh, "You don't need to do that." <laughs> oh. F- <laughs> um. But yeah, then... so I came up to Colorado, and we were just like, you know, gonna hang out at the mall and everything else. Because I was like, like, "Hey, Coda, help me out, dude. Like, I'm trying to slide through Colorado. Like, say what's up." And I guess I wasn't the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh whatever. I was. I had no idea what she looked like. Her name. Anything. I know. I was just. No, going he was on just like, trip. all right, cause I got you. Um, be he was being a supportive man. homie, and that's I respect you. You know. Um. This. You know what? I'm glad that the last episode we talked about what we did. Yeah. <laughs> so, me and we hung out and everything, and hung out at the mall, and it was a good time and whatever. Um. Then afterwards, like nothing really happened. Like we kind of talked a little bit. And, you know, I was still doing my thing, trying to flirt, whatever. <laughs> and uh, that worked really well. after we got home, sh- shut up, <laughs> we got home and I was like, hey, like, you want to go on another I'm gonna trip? I'm going to be back. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be back there again. I was like, you want to, like, go on an actual dinner? And she was like, 
if I have to. And I was like, I you literally... do, ironically. Um, ironically. So we went to Colorado again. And like, that was it when was like, just, we, it Dakota was didn't just really talk me to and her. Jesse. Yeah, it was just me and Dakota. And he really didn't talk to her um, the first time. So the yeah. second okay, time, wait, like, we wait, were hanging at the mall, out, everything. No, no, no. At the mall, I, we bought food and went outside to sit at a, t- a picnic table. And uh, there was oh, a spot yeah, next to Jesse. bring up everything that hurts me. No, there that's fine. A, <laughs> there was a spot next to Jesse, and then there was a spot next to Coda. And I sat my ass down right next to Coda, and Jesse was pissed, and I thought it was funny as fuck. Yeah, because it was Cassie and her friend that went to the mall. So, like, I knew Jesse was trying to do his thing, so I was like, all right, I'll 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 be respectful. I won't, like, try to interject or anything. I don't even think I said more than, like, three words no, to Cassie. No, you didn't talk at, like, all. And I tried yeah. to talk to her friend. Uh, I've met her now. She's a nice person. I just, I don't think we connected on anything. I don't even remember if I said much of anything to her either. I don't think but you did. Because we, th- we were there with, uh, um... Uh, Avery and Katya. And Katya the bought the bracelets that I wanted. That w- we will meet slash talk about in another episode. But um, I remember. I think like we said that a lot. We always have so much. Yeah, I know. I remember Avery was like, uh, "Come on, guys, we just gotta. We want to get back on the road. This, that, and everything." Oh, he else. was not having it. He's like, "Come on, let's go, let's go." Well, yeah, I was kind of near the same page as him because I knew. Well, Rude. initially. <laughs> This whole stop at the mall was for Jesse, and yeah. uh, I just wanted to go to California. That was that's that fair. was my whole thing. That's fair. But yeah. um, she was she was really nice, and uh, I didn't get much talking time to her. But she was funny, and I could tell we had a similar sense of humor. So pick back up on my story. So all right, we back went back out the second time, and that was when we all started like hanging out. Like we went. Like, she was showing us a little bit of Colorado, and I was like, hey, this is my cousin. He's sexy, but, like, he's a dork. And she was like, oh, is he? Yeah, um, I, like, didn't even know that he, you were going to be there. Like, I had no idea. Yeah, it was just supposed yeah. to be, like, uh, well, I don't remember how it went down, but we were just supposed to go to Colorado, and it was, uh, we were staying at her house, so we didn't have to pay for a hotel. And we just like enjoyed okay. Colorado, so I had didn't have anything against it. So we went back. First off, when we stayed at her house, we were not in the house. We were in this horrible, horrible camper outside. Okay, listen. Which I was very and... grateful because it wasn't a Walmart parking lot, but still. Okay, okay. In my defense, your boy that I hadn't really talked to much lately, who was trying to slide in my DMs, I was like. This motherfucker is not sleeping in my house. Fuck that shit. I didn't know your cousin was going to be there. And so, yeah, you're right. I told all my friends. I was like, yeah, Jesse's coming to Colorado, but I'm not letting him sleep inside my house. <laughs> yeah, so they had a they had a camper outside. Um, don't worry, it wasn't heated. It was really cold. Um, it was summertime. Dakota, it was so it was cold. It was Dakota, the, it in the middle of the, the night. It was the coldest I've ever slept, ever. Yeah, <laughs> in the middle of the night, Dakota woke up and he was like, Jesse, are you up? And I was like, yeah, what's up? He's like... Can I crawl in bed with you? And I was like, what? And he was like, let's not make it weird. I said what I said. And I was like, I mean, I guess. And he's like, all right, I'm actually coming. I was like, oh, you're really cold. And even the night before, he didn't have any pillows or anything. So he took the cushions off of the sofa and used yep, that and as, a I used them as a blanket. used as a blanket. It was so, there's pictures somewhere. It was so funny. Yeah, because um, I thought up until probably like 30 minutes before, maybe an hour before we got to Colorado that we were staying in a hotel. So I didn't, I didn't bring any blankets. I didn't bring anything. Jesse had a blanket. He knew what was going on. Apparently he didn't tell me. And, uh, so he had a blanket. I had uh, pillows that I was using as a blanket and it was, uh, thought that you were ill equipped. Yes. Very ill equipped. All right. Um, but yeah, so we were hanging out and everything. And like, there was the one day and I was like, all right, Coda, we're going to go on this date. I'm going to do this. And he's hyping me up. He's like, yeah, go kill it. Soldier. Like, don't worry. It's going to be dope. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. So we went to Noodles and Company. We were there for three minutes. And the entire time we were just arguing. So that was fun. Um, and yeah, we got back okay, to wait, the wait, house. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Just... I have another part of Noodles and Company. Wait. So he, we're ordering, right? And uh, Jesse doesn't know I'm allergic to shellfish. Um, and I listened to him order the shrimp. And I'm like, aha, now you can't kiss me. <laughs> like, I told <laughs> you like, as soon as you started eating it. I was like. 
So I'm allergic to shellfish. You can't touch me. I didn't like, even think <laughs> about that. <That's, laughs> and if I remember, she told me that, and I laughed so hard. I didn't think about like that until IQ just plays. now. Oh my <laughs> god, that's amazing. Um, Jesse, yeah. I love you. You're like a brother to me, but I was like not having it. Yeah, I, trust me. Fun. I'm aware that you're like now married to my cousin. I figured it out. Um, I figured it out. But. So we came back and I was, I was upset because like pretty much the whole time we went to Colorado was like, so I could go on this date, whatever. And so I was like, whatever, that sucked, whatever. I remember so I felt I was just so like, bad Let's for just go. Jesse. I'm so sorry. He did. He I felt, felt so bad. bad. And then her friend yeah. Preston, who has a girlfriend cool and is, is awesome, but he, he came and picked them both up and Jesse's like, some other guys here. Uh, code yeah, Black. I didn't know who Preston was, problem. and I was, I was like, he's pretty, I'm mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I remember, I remember uh, Best friends. Yeah, I remember I tried to meet up with them at, um, because I was still in best Colorado best. this entire time. Coda was super wingman, time. like, Coda was being was, my guy. Yeah. No, I was, like, trying was to come, good. uh, take care of, the, like, talk to Preston, which I hadn't met yet. I was trying to talk to him while he talked to her. And, uh... Yeah, Coda was my homie. They were like, oh, we're just going through the drive-thru. We'll be home soon. So I, I still drove there and was, like, talking yeah. to Jesse in the drive-thru. Talk. And then I left and we met back at home. But, yeah, yep. to kind of fill into what I was doing this, this time, so I met this girl in Florida. Her name is Jess. I assume she doesn't watch this podcast. Um, we were really good friends, and for those who don't know my story of mental health, we'll get into it later, but, um, I had some, I had a really bad time January, and almost did something that I regretted, and she was the one that, um, kind of talked me out of it, and calmed me down, and, like, saved me, and she lives in Chicago, but she was gonna be in Colorado that time, and I was like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll hang out with her. While, while Jesse's going on this date, because I didn't think it was going to last 15 minutes. But, um, so I was I was super excited, because I hadn't seen her since New Year's, and uh, we were supposed to hang out, I don't, I don't know, I was, I was going like, to go with their friends or something. But this was, like, kind of when Corona was getting a little bit bigger, and uh, so her friends didn't think it was a good idea to hang out with some kid from Nebraska that's about, that just literally got back from L.A. like two weeks earlier. So I didn't end up going to hang out with them. So I came back to her house and just waited for them to get home. And that was when I went and saw Jesse at the coffee shop, which is Dutch Bros. If you live in Colorado, go there. Fuck if you yes. don't, you still Fire. Oh my there. god. If you want any recommendations Fire. on drinks, hit me up. That's my favorite coffee shop. She knows Bro. every drink that I literally know every drink. It's... That'd be dope. I would Open if I got Nebraska. sponsored by Dutch Bros, I would probably pee my pants. Yeah, Dutch that Bros. Would be no, no, no. We would get sponsored. You're yeah, our you, guest. You just we would just give you the discount you code. Oh, your YouTube right. uh, Follow uh, oh, yeah. Miss oh, yeah. Wizard's YouTube. She yeah. just started. Miss Wizard. She just started like a YouTube subscribers. channel. We'll link it down below. Click that. Oh, yeah. I would really appreciate um, that. So, yeah. <laughs> so, we got back. I'm upset. She's hanging out with some other dude. I didn't know who he was. Um, so, yeah, we were so both not like, happy whatever. at this point. So, But, we, but yeah. we met back at the house. Yeah, we were both having not a good time. So, we both like we went back to the camper, and I was just all kinds of upset. And I was just not having it. But then we had a bonfire. Um, so we were like, but the, so hold up. So this is back when like, and I said this on like my Instagram and everything. Like I was like drinking pretty heavy for a minute. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let's just have a yay old time and just get plastered and go to bed. And I was so upset because other stuff went down. Like that was like, yeah, um, was 2020 a was a bad year for me. So like, this yeah. was like kind of the cap of like, dang, like just more and more. Like I'm, I can't win. Like, uh, so I was not having a good night and we were all drinking and stuff and having a good time or most of us were having a good time and I just couldn't take it. Like I was just getting overwhelmed with everything and there was a lot going on in my head at that time. So that was just kind of the cap of everything. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going into the camper. I was like, I can't do this. So I went in my camper and I'm all upset <laughs> and hold on, hold on, hold on. trunkily I gotta, crying. I got to tell you what Jesse said to me before he went to that camper. He said, you watch her and make sure no other guys try to pull anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. yeah, I did. You sack of shit. So I did. I made sure no other he guys did. He did a good anything. job. He did. Yeah, he, he did, did a, a good, really job. good job. Okay, and also um, a story that we skipped. The morning before they went on the date, we took a little road trip to Colorado Springs. We went to Garden of the like, Gods. Yeah, yeah, it was like two hours away. Oh, yeah. 
And I brought my car there. It was my new car. I was super excited about it. So I drove. Yep. And we just, all three of us just had a fucking great time. It was on the so road much fun. There. Oh, it was so just fun. Listening to music. Like, I found out that she liked every single music artist that I have ever liked in my entire life. And I was like, what the Literally. fuck is going on? It's like, God just placed this thing in my lap and Jesse was like borrowing it. And <laughs> oh my God. Coda just took over a leash, you know? Was, but um, we, Like anyway. we said last episode, we share everything. Why not? Fuck you. I was never yours, Jesse. Fuck oh, off. Oh, shut up. But on up. the way back, Jesse slept the entire way back. So me and Cassie had two hours and we like talked like the entire time a stupid amount yeah and listened to some some of our really old songs and just vibe the entire time so i felt like we were pretty good friends at that point and uh i obviously oh shoot like worlds collide because he's my best friend and like i've known her forever she's one of my longest friends i was like cool they're getting along great (laughs) but yeah then back back to jesse uh going to sleep very upset in the camper and me very upset so i'm in the camper and I'm okay, crying. I need to, I'm, I need hold to on. defend everything's, myself. First. Hold on. Everything's hitting me. And like, I'm texting Dakota. I'm like, man, girls ain't nothing. Like, this sucks. Why does this keep happening? I'm like pouring out emotion. And he's like, don't worry, bud. Like, it's going to be okay. Yeah, because at this point, I was still sitting on the log alone because I, my only friend that I knew just went to bed. And the only other person I knew there was Cassie. And uh, I was just sitting there alone for probably like 20 minutes. And we were all drinking at that time. And uh, I remember, Kat, you said, like, uh, why don't you come sit over here with us? Cause it, yeah. So, yeah. okay. So, first of all, back to before. That date was awful for me, too, because Jesse's one of my longest friends. And I was like, no, we're not going down this path. I'm not going to, like, ruin our friendship. I don't know if he's in a host stage. I don't know what he wants. But I'm just, like, avoiding that at all costs. So... You know, I'm glad that you brought that up because, like, no, I'm really glad, actually, that that is exactly how things – it couldn't have worked out any more perfect because, yeah, I was going through a whole stage because, like, I was going through stuff. So I was just like, ah, like, I'm just going to try for whatever. And, like, you know, I'm not saying, like, I'm not trying to be an ass and, like, oh, I was just trying for whatever. But, like, yeah, I was in a whole stage and our friendship was a long time. So, like, I was glad that that happened how it happened. Exactly. That's exactly how I felt about it. Like, I just didn't want to lose you as a friend. So I, like, totally did not, like – did not want that to happen. Um, and so I felt yeah. like that date went bad because I felt really bad that I was being like such an asshole to you. So I drank like quite a bit and uh, I like didn't eat quite anything that day. Yeah, because quite as we said, they were quite there for three minutes and didn't finish their food. Yeah, I didn't eat anything. Home. I was so anxious. I literally. Oh, and she's like, Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? I was like, I just sat down. I haven't even opened my drink. Yeah, I didn't eat anything. So then I drank a lot. Um, and so oh. then I was like sitting on we the ground. We were under supervision of her parents before anybody says anything. Yes. It was literally we were. at her house. It was at my house, yeah. Um, and so I literally told my parents, I was like, hey, like I'm having a bonfire and I'm having a bunch of friends over. Is it okay if we drink if like nobody? We don't condone underage home. drinking, but. Yes. I did it safely. Yes. You know, that's that. Um, and so that was when I looked over and saw that like Coda looked so sad. And I, again, I'm faded. And I'm like, I remember her saying, are you okay? Because yeah, I, I have, like, like, one video from that whole night because I was just, like, zooming in on the fire. <laughs> because I have one video from that night. I was zooming in on the fire because I was also drinking. I was 21, so it doesn't matter if it's my parents' house or not. But, um, <laughs> and I was just looking at the fire. And then I, the end of the video is when she says, um, are you doing okay? And I stop it there. But, um, I'm like, yeah, it's just been kind of a rough, a rough couple days. And uh, she invites me to go sit over there. And uh, this is probably, I think you told me this was one of the more she's ever drank. So she was. Uh, yeah, that's the drunkest I've ever been. She was falling over. She was sitting down, but At she was like time. falling over. And, she like, was uh, fading like, when I was there and I left. I was like trying to climb into the fire. Yep. She so I was like, yeah. it's so yeah, poor. <laughs> I'm fucking So started. I went over and she sat next to singing. her and like kept like using my arm as like a seatbelt. Like, don't go into the fire, please. And then he kept, like, putting his arm behind me because I kept, like, falling backwards. But uh, to come, like, later, he found out that that was just because I wanted him to, like, put his arm around me. So I was, like, fake falling. I was actually trying to climb into the fire. Like, 100% was trying to climb into the fire. But Yeah, and I, in my 
in my situ- in my point of view, I was just trying to make sure that my cousin's friend doesn't die. Didn't die. Mm-hmm. Fall. So I'm like, yeah, thanks. I <laughs> I barely even like touched her unless she was falling. I really tried because I'm. He did I, try. I'm not the guy it. that's like. <laughs> I'm not the, f- the frat kid that, like, oh, take advantage of this girl because she was drinking. No, I was trying to make sure she didn't die. And I literally, like, yeah. walked her inside. Yeah, eventually. he walked me in the house. And then I was, like, again, still faded. I was, like, why won't he fucking kiss me? I'm getting pissed. <laughs> so I tell my friends, because, like, all my friends are in my bedroom. And he was sleeping out in the camper. And I was, like, oh, no, I think I left my phone outside. Damn, I'm going to have to go outside again. So he came with me and still didn't kiss me. And I was like, this motherfucker. So then I just went to bed and I was like, it's fine. I'm not even worried about it. Another thing that I was worried about is if I did kiss her. Because at one point she like laid her head in my lap. And I was like, uh, uh, okay. But, um, (laughs) but I didn't want her friends because I had never met them before. I didn't want her friends thinking like this, like stranger was just doing stuff to her friend. Advantage. Yeah. Well, and later on, one of my friends who was there actually was like, I have mad respect for him because of what he did. Like, that he didn't make a move or anything. Because, like, I know all my friends were watching you like like a hawk. Yeah, because... like, I know people aren't in the best headspace when they're drinking, so I yeah. didn't want to pull anything stupid and ruin everything. Um, no, but straight facts, I did want you to kiss me. I was very upset. I was like, he thinks I'm yeah. ugly. <laughs> we get it! We heard it the first time! <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Jesse. Um, so, anyways, yeah, so that happened, and that's how they met, which is funny, because, like, that's kind of the same way that me and you met, so it's funny that's how you guys met, of, like, hey, you okay? <laughs> yeah. Check on people. You that's might true. meet the love of your life at Wizards Family. <laughs> yes. I swear to um, God. But, yeah, no, so I didn't find out about this, because, like, I was upset, and Cody was just like, yeah, man, you'll get him next time. And I was like, yeah, oh, let's just go He was home. not happy the next morning. I know, like, we I was were so supposed- sad. It he was it- so early. We were supposed to, like, go out to eat with her and, like, hang out for a little bit, but we literally left as soon as we woke up. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, like, it wasn't even, like, because of Cassidy that I was, like, super upset or whatever. Like, there was just so much, and so that was just, like, was the of ending of it. On. Yeah, um... But like, yeah, eventually we got home. I don't, how did I find out Dakota? I don't remember how I found out. I was, I was, okay. So let's get to how I got her Snapchat. So when we first pulled into the, (laughs) to the house, I rolled down my window and I was like, where do I park? And this is my first time ever at her house. I didn't know she had a, like an outside dog. And that dog jumped up on my car and put a, Big ass scratch down the side. Brand new I, car. <laughs> my heart broke. Into Brand. I felt so, so bad. Sad. So I, I he told was like, him, I don't even want to look. I was like, give me your Venmo. Like, I will pay for whatever it takes to fix that. Like, I'm so sorry. Oh, I, yeah. I felt so awful. And then she forgot about that part. And then when we were drinking by the fire, she said it again. And I was like, just give me your Snapchat and I'll get it from you later. Smooth AF, I swear to God. <laughs> and uh, so we, I Snapchat her the whole way home. Obviously when I wasn't driving, because driving and was texting is bad. But, um, And then I remember it was like two weeks later, Jesse saw me like Snapchatting Cassie. And uh, I don't, I'm not because... like, big into Snapchat. So I, I don't change the names. So like her like default name is like Cass with like a yellow heart. And he Which is that the same thing like, as I have it. <laughs> Yeah. So he's like, Yeah, I remember. Who, who okay, we were we were at my house and I was like, Yo, wait, who is that? And you're like, What do you mean who's that? And I was like, Coda, I've known you a long time. Who's that? And you're like, because she has a yellow heart, and that was how I knew it. it was the yellow heart. And I was like, Coda, and you're like, Yeah, and I, I like, know you. Bad. So I was like, <laughs> You're holding something back. I was like, Coda, have you talking to Cassidy? And you're like, um, yeah, and I was like, you mother, what? And I was like, <laughs> how long have you guys been talking? And he's like, you remember that night that you started crying? And I was like, yeah, he's like, that one. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. So yeah, while I was like bawling and losing my mind, he was just like, hey girl, don't fall in that fire. I got you. We <laughs> hold you these big old arms. <laughs> um, oh but yeah. okay, so after all that, that's how we all met and everything. And now they have... A real happy, nice relationship, and like they're doing great. Um, but I just want to like preface it like 
that could be an awkward situation for a lot of people, but literally all of us have been so cool since then. Like, like we're like the has... best friends. Like whatever yeah. she like, comes here a lot, and Jesse attempts to come there with me, but that never ends up working out. Yeah, but um, she's here, and we're always at Jesse's house, so we're always hanging out we with Jesse. So much fun. Like we, Honestly. she's like, we we uh, as you guys know, I'm the gamer nerd whiz. And as you know now, she's a Miss Wizard, so she didn't. She wasn't the biggest person in video games. I played a little bit. She played a little bit of like Call of Duty BO4, before yeah. Black Ops Four, yeah. And then when I met her, I bought her the new Call of Duty, and we've been playing it like every day on stream. So check it out. Yeah, but I mean, um, I'm not as bad as I used to be. So I'm not we're, great. We're, we're, it's a work in progress. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, going like, to we're learn. literally like the same person in it, like. It blows my mind every time we like talk because we love the same music. She really isn't an asshole. Wink, <laughs> wink about me playing video games or like streaming. I'm talking to you, six finger forehead. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. Yeah, you definitely should. <laughs> but um. <laughs> okay. Well, also, I just want to note that like I really appreciate how cool like Jesse is about it because like he totally had the right to like be an asshole, but the fact that he just kind of like embraced it and was like okay like these are two of my friends like it's fine like yeah he was mad at first he was mad at first because uh in his eyes i kind of pulled a a blank from what we talked about in the last episode yeah in my eyes they were never dating no that and i things didn't work out with him i didn't say anything initially i tried to let him like cool off and continue what he was doing but I was like, she's fucking awesome. So well, I was okay. going to leave her in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me so get all I sappy. Just, I just appreciate that. So, yeah. Um, at first I was mad, but like, it wasn't even like, I wasn't even mad at him. Cause you know, wizard's my homie. Can't get mad, at, mad my at my guy. Me. <laughs> A little bit. Um, <laughs> but I was more so just hurt. Cause I was like, like, dang, hold on. Like, to you man and now you're but um like after i thought about the situation too like i was i thought like the same thing me and cassidy just talked about i was like okay like we've been friends a long time i'm just going through a phase because i'm depressed because i went through a really bad breakup um same. both of us all three of us did. all three of us did yeah <laughs> literally at the same all time. three of us yeah. like boom, boom, boom but no once i like sat and reflected because you know i'd be reflecting all the time i was like you know what it's really not worth it and i'm glad things didn't work out that way because like me and cassidy have been friends and that would have gotten ruined which that have sucked yeah and then but, I would have never met him. Yeah, it's nice yeah. now. Like six months. Yeah. Yeah. But it hasn't been awkward at all because, like, we're all no. – Koda's my best friend. We've been best friends forever. Uh, me and Cassie have known each other forever. They have a great relationship. And, like, my boy, he is – I'm going to get zappier. So if I start crying, just edit it out. Um, <laughs> blur it. <laughs> I've been through – I've been around for all of his relationships, and I, they've always been horrible, as we talked about the last episode. So I was like, you, you know what? About I know thing, which was the worst, her heart but... and what kind of person she is. Like, you know what, Coda? You have your moment. You go win, buddy. Um, which is funny Jesse, I because I remember when I first heard about it, I was like, yeah, that ain't going to last. And now I'm like, if they don't get married. <laughs> and uh, while Coda was at work, and we were all in the Xbox party, and we were like – I didn't even start it, but everybody else started talking about our wedding and like who wanted to be the flower girl. Yep. And now Aura's getting officiated so he can like do our wedding. Like, so yeah. I feel Easily like there's gonna the, be a hate crime. The best if we relationship don't. I've ever been in. So. Same, a hundred percent. Like I know both of them are genuine and like take care of each other, and they both deserve it because she came from a horrible relationship too. Uh, yeah. I'm looking at you, Mr. Brown. Now, 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 But uh, <laughs> but yeah. So I was just like, you know what, Jesse? It's not even worth it. Let's not be in. Like let's just see everybody win, and so now we're like we're all yeah we're all cool. There hasn't been any problems or animosity or yeah. No, I, we're all one big happy big family. Yeah, that's a big word, Jesse. That was good. That's that was, my big word. That's uh, weak word for word. It's mine. Yeah, Jesse can have word of the day this time. Animosity. I forgot that was animosity the for the win. That was a good um, one. My Ooh. my secret dream is for Coda and Jesse to move out to Colorado to be my roommates, but I guess it's not a secret for them. I tell them all the time. I'm like, so when you move into Colorado, single time since she's like, so she put together a slideshow and was like, here's the reasons you should move I to Colorado. Think, oh, we could link that. <laughs> you guys could look at it. It's so good. I can convince oh you to move God. to Colorado. The ending was which <laughs> not actually me. It was her. No, but. it was a picture of me. I was like, these are all the things that are in Colorado. I, like, name a bunch of restaurants, and then I'm, like, me. And then I, like, <laughs> pretty much said food, all, like, weed, and her. And mountains. And mountains, yeah. Mountains is a big one. It's beautiful. So, would recommend. <sighs> yes. 
It, yeah. It's been a great Happy time. Family. We literally and do that everything was the together. So. We have a Wizards. dog together. We do have a dog. He's very cute. We don't know what kind of dog he is because he's a rescue dog. He looks like a husky and a what was it? German Shepherd mix. And a retriever. That's what they yeah. told her. When I adopted him. Yeah. yeah. We were trying um, to get that officiated. And in like a week, he's going to be 11 months. Super and he weighs cute. 75 pounds. He's a big He's a very big baby. Uh, he's given me a lot of bruises and split lips, but you know, it is what it is. You're talking about the dog, right? Yes. yes. No, I, oh, okay. I hate those guys, but yeah, same. I'd have to kill but you. He's, I, I would too. He's a cutie. I like that he snuggles me when Coda's not around because he's a good cuddle Yeah, buddy. so how we're doing things now is like every two weeks I go up there, she comes here, and I work full time and stream and do DoorDash, so... She comes here for longer periods of time. Yeah. Because she can, like, do work or play video games. And hang with Jesse in school. Yeah, I can do all my shit out here. Yeah, yeah. like, I, it's not the best situation, but usually, like, I'll take off, like, thir- Thursday or Monday, and I'll go out there for, like, a long weekend because I don't work on Fridays anyways. Right, and that, that'll be the plan until May, until I get my job, and then after I get my schedule, I'll probably still be able to be out here long periods of time, but yeah, just have to figure it out when I get my new job. We're working it Kudos out. Kudos to you guys, because I do not have that kind of patience. Yeah. <laughs> that's before... why I was like, at first I was like, yeah, that's never going to work out. And then it yeah. was like, oh, wait, they're well, like my favorite couple. I hate that. Yeah, I, before I remember... her, I always hated the idea of a long distance Same. relationship. Same. And it, it has to do with my ex, and we'll get into that in the mental health yeah. month. But yes, it's working amazing, and uh, I love her, so... Too. I just like I think of it as like there's nobody in my state that I would rather like that I would want to date like do you know what I'm trying to say yeah no, like I, I would rather saying. date you from Nebraska than anybody else anywhere like I'd rather date a ten than a good boys for the win than a yeah negative ten and all right Nebraska. now you guys are getting yeah, sappy I'm gonna have to cut right. you off all right yeah I remember all, like over the summer I was uh like it was a few weeks after I had met you the second yeah. time. And my mom and I were on the boat. On the boat. And we were doing, like, kneeboarding and stuff. It was super fun. And I was like, oh, fuck, mom. I think I really like this guy. I'm scared. And she was like, maybe you guys should, like, just try being friends. And I was like, nah. I really like this boy. We'll skip that. (laughs) But yeah, I mean, wizards, like, if you don't like him, you're a psycho. I went back out there, like, two or three weeks after the, the fire night. And uh, we went on like our first date, and so fun. It wasn't Noodles and Company. It wasn't Noodles and Company. <laughs> it was a drive-in, which I thought was really fun. Yep, we were there the whole time. But back we to were there the whole Tracking. time. Yeah, we watched both movies. It was. Don't ask me what they were. Called. No, yeah, don't ask. <laughs> All right, back to Jesse. Anyways, <laughs> that's all I got. That's how right. we met her. What she's yeah, doing in life. She's That's doing. who That's Mrs. Wizards is. Welcome, Mrs. Yeah. Wizards, to the family. She's always on my <laughs> streams. Yeah. Um, this is our first guest podcast, so tell us how we did. We will work on the format. Tell us who you want to see. Yeah, tell us any ideas, or if you want to be on, let us know. Or still, any suggestions for episodes or topics on episodes, or, even, or if you have any questions, uh, be sure to let us know. If you have any questions for her... Um, Go on my YouTube. My email's on there, and you can comment, <laughs> so... Or, or you can DM her on Twitter or yeah. ask me, and I will ask her and come back to you guys on the podcast yes. for the answer. But... And if the person who asked about, was it Sal, who asked about EMT yes. stuff? If you have more questions, you can reach out to me, and I can, like, explain the whole process to you. Yeah. But anyways, um, I think that it's going to be Yeah, it. be ready to ch- check her out on Wizard Stream. Um, or, like, if you need your life saved in Colorado, like, she's your girl. Hit me up. Uh, she'll she'll be, be on my partner. album, Welcome. <laughs> coming soon i'm not giving you the date yet but i will release the date here very soon uh that song's called scared to love she killed it with the book killed it with the vocals i'm she's so excited for you guys to hear that one Stop. yeah she did I'm gonna exa- make a TikTok she's, like, of... she's like was that all right and i was like that, yeah that was exactly what i want so yeah that was okay i'm gonna post a tiktok of the end of me singing and then you sing Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, so funny. It's an inside joke, but yeah. immediately once you're done, you have to look at my TikTok go, to see it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Fire! Yes. Fire with it. Oh god! But that is it for episode four. We will see you guys next. Four week. in the bag. We made it yes. a month without getting canceled. Congrats! Or guys. missing an episode. Without- or missing an episode. We're killing it so far. I think we're no. doing good. Everyone's liked um, it. Everyone's I'm enjoying the excited. podcast. Wait, can I say one more thing? Yeah. Okay. To anyone watching this, I need you to understand, like, this is how it is in real life. Like, this is how we converse. Like, 
we just like share stories all the time and like we reminisce and like we Make just laugh all the time. Yeah, we're really stupid together and I think if that's like we're not like, all laughing something's wrong. Exactly. Like I I think that's like super fun about our relationship is that like we're always just like She's the punching the bag. <laughs> no. Anyways. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but, yeah. But Hashtag I Mumbles just, is bullying. Start it. Start it. Oh my god. <laughs> But I just know that, like, you guys strive really hard to, like, make it really realistic and, like, your actual personalities. And that's 100% that's accurate. That's we're doing Like, it. this is exactly what us. it's like in real life. Yep. So Cat for, so for Glad more. for someone to hear that. Yes. So for more, be sure to. Jesse? Like and subscribe. There we go. Because Jesse didn't get Do that. Hand. Push the buttons. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Wizards is going to replace me soon if she keeps filling in my words. Uh, yeah, you just said what we're, oh, you guys should do. I don't know what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to do a lot of things. Drink I said, water. I take said a for, piss. I said I for know. more content, you guys should. Um, Don't drive your car into a wall. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I mean, fair. Fair, 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 fair. <laughs> but, That's fair. Yeah, There's a lot of you guys... things you could do. Don't just... I was it? paying attention because You're I was so on Minecraft stupid. and I just found a sign that says I love you written in sand. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah I was, I I was busy. Yeah. I know, oh, I God. figured. And I was admiring it. I made a little pedestal. So um, be sure to like, well, yeah, I know, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> Go listen to previous episodes if, you know, this one sucked yeah, or whatever. It. You just want to hear YouTube. our voices so much. If you follow missed her, the last one, us. Please watch it. It's it was so some good. Quality it's content. so good. Ten out of ten. And you learn a lot about me and Jesse for sure. Separately and together. Throughout this whole thing, yeah. you're learning a lot about us. I really like it. Like, yeah, exactly yeah, what I wanted to do. That's this. What we're here for. 100%. All right. All right. Peace out, guys. I think we're out. I was like, yeah, you gotta make your weird noise. <gasps> you're getting attacked. You were on a cactus. Cool. We'll do the podcast naked, and I'll really figure out how to censor. <laughs> blur. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get real good at it. Well, I need to hide some my background because you can see on my dresser actively that there's in a in that just says too much about me just so like when we're playing you don't hear like i would love that that's the creeper here again with another episode yes stop yeah jesse oh but that that intro is fine but your mic is doing the same shit again is it really Sounds like you're across the room, and then it sounds like you're talking into sandpaper. <laughs> it does sound like he's talking into sandpaper. That was really good description. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, stop. stop. It. Jesus, fuck. I sound like styrofoam yelling in my Holy ear. Holy fuck. Jesse Michael Allen, Dan Garcia. J Mad Dog, come in. Jesse, do you copy? Say something if Dude, you're not stupid. On. Got it, boys. The more you know. <laughs> when you took my candy away, I was like, I thought you said you left me. <laughs> I know. Or when you woke me up by touching my ear, and I was like, I will never yeah, trust, trust you, you again. again. <laughs> These are the bloopers. <laughs> Update. We're still having technical difficulties. Jesse can't figure out his computer. Shut up. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't want your laptop no more. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so oh, you're wait, talking. Is my mic fucking good? shit, Justin? <laughs> yes, your mic is, is fine. Is my mic good? Yes. All right.